everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm just going to be doing a Q&A. I may look a little bit more chill, you know, for a regular kind of upload, but today I did plan on filming all day. It is Boxing Day today and this is going up tomorrow. I don't have a video up for tomorrow because I wanted to wait to film until I got my ring light for Christmas, which I'm so excited. I love it, but it is so bright. I can adjust like the thingy. I just saw a piece of fluff near me and it freaked me out. But yeah, I asked you guys on Facebook probably about two weeks ago now for some questions. I screenshot all of them and deleted them accidentally. So I asked you guys again tonight. I didn't get as many, which is good because I didn't get to ask all the questions last time. So yeah, basically I'm just going to sit here and answer your questions. And oh yeah, I didn't want to do my makeup today because I woke up this morning and I had eyeliner on last night like in my waterline and my eyes always leak so much when I wear a lot of um, like eye makeup so yeah I just woke up and my eyes were so puffy it just like I didn't even look like myself it's gone down quite a bit now which is always good so yeah Q&A pretty basic up front you just sit here and answer questions I also have the mask of Magnum Minty on my face and it's so hot right now it's like very hot in my room but I'm not wearing anything under here I've got a lot of moisturizer on my body and I'm about to tan straight after this and once I've taken this off so I'm just gonna jump straight into it also Merry Christmas if you guys did celebrate I had such a great Christmas also I did say in my vlog that this upload was supposed to be my what I got for Christmas video but that is going to go up Thursday actually before we jump into it I should let you guys know about my new filming schedule I'm never going to get into this video on Monday, Wednesday and Friday are going to be vlogs and then Tuesday and Thursday are going to be just my normal regular videos so that is very exciting that is going to be my new upload schedule so every weekday there is going to be a new video and yeah I'm very very excited I just couldn't not vlog even though I'm not good at it it's just fun to look back on you know your day or a certain time in your life or something like that and you guys seem to really like them as well I think it's also going to be good for me to have like the five uploads during the week and then on the weekends I'm just not going to do any work or anything like that and actually give myself a break because I genuinely enjoy filming and uploading and editing it's something that I just always want to do but I think I need to kind of slow down because I feel like I'm always doing something and that's something that I really want to kind of practice within the new year. I'm just always trying to cram absolutely everything in and I never just like relax and I've noticed that my anxiety has been quite bad recently as well. haven't really talked about that but I don't know I've just noticed that you know I'll just get like big spouts of anxiety all of a sudden and I think it's just because you know with vlogmas every single day uploads. I know some people do it but for me it was quite a lot. It was so fun but I think the five videos a week and then having the weekend where I'm not allowing myself to do any work apart from like vlogging for the Monday um, I think it'll be good for me so yeah that was such a long intro also my Facebook page is going to be down below that is where I ask all of my questions and I'm going to be doing giveaways on my Facebook page so yeah if you're interested in giveaways that's the place I'm going to do it because I do get questions about giveaways which I feel is like a little bit greedy in a way because obviously it's picked at random but I don't know I'm also having an energy drink and guess what I'm going to juice cleanse for three days but I'm going to eat like fruit and veg and like nuts and seeds and stuff when I get hungry because I can't but like oh my god I wanted to die today when I woke up like I was so puffy felt sick I had three pieces of pavlova today oh my god like just too much so yeah anyway let's jump into it so my first question is from my friend Tian I'm going to pop her Instagram just here go and follow her she's one of my absolute favorite people in the entire world and she has two of the cutest little babies I've ever seen and I'm not a big baby person but her kids are so cute and she like does like blog posts and stuff like that so that's going to be there go and follow her and tell her that I sent you her question is not sure if you ended up filming it or not but a little how to on cutting back on meat and dairy transitioning to vegetarian etc the best alternatives etc I know this isn't a direct question sorry love heart that is okay honey um yeah I still do plan on filming a video about that because I think it's very helpful whether you're a meat eater or a non-meat eater it's just fun to know like alternatives you know when you're eating out or just at home like things to switch up if you don't want to eat as much meat or dairy products or anything like that then I can just give you guys you know some alternatives and just the things that I do because I don't eat meat it's just started raining outside like whether someone wants to be a full vegetarian a full vegan or whatever we should encourage people to you know try different things like because meat and dairy and eggs and all that stuff is such a big part of 
you know, the way people eat, it's fun to just like introduce, you know, vegan alternatives and things like that. You're so cute. Come here. Yamamoto. Oh. Okay, Yamamoto. Thank you very much. Let's say hello, everyone. Say hi, everybody. Hey, pretty girl. So, Angie asked, How old were you when you started getting into makeup and beauty? I think, well, my first makeup products I got when I was in year 8, I got the CoverGirl foundation um, and like this green mascara from Maybelline and they're like my two products. So yeah, I'd say then, but like full on getting into it probably like 17, 18, like is when I started being obsessed with YouTube. And she also asked, what are your favourite videos to film? I'd have to say try on hauls because they're fun to edit. They probably are the most like time consuming to film and all that kind of thing because you know, you have to film the haul, but then you also have to film the try-ons, which takes like over an hour for me. Um, so it's just like chopping all the video up and putting it all together and stuff like that. Um, it takes time, but they're my favourite videos to film. Abby asked, if you could only use two makeup products for the next two months, what would they be? I'd have to say the Physicians Formula Brow Gel, which I got when I went to the Price Sun event, and I really like it. It sticks your brows like in place so good, and also the Sigma Brow Powder. Because I can live without any other makeup product. I really don't care if I don't have to wear makeup. It's not a big deal. And she also said, love your videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Tian asked, if you had a friend who needed to buy you a birthday present, what kind of gift would you like? My birthday is on January 31st. So, just in case you're wondering. And Tian, I don't want anything, okay? I just want you to come and hang out with me. And then Ashley asked, do you think you would want to go back into hairdressing once again? I think if I get my headaches under control, that would definitely be something I want to do. It's just hard because it's a very, you know, on the go kind of career. And, you know, it's like quite strenuous, like you're always moving your arms. There's lots of chemicals, there's lots of hair drying noises and stuff like that. Which are all things that, you know, give me a headache. So for right now, probably not the best idea for me, but it's something I really did enjoy. And what have you found has helped your headaches? Reason asking, I'm a fellow sufferer myself. It's nice to relate to another person who knows the pains and struggles. Maybe a remedy or treatment that's worked for one person can help another. Love ya. Merry Christmas, Emily. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you so much. Um, so for me... I don't find a lot of stuff works. I do take like Panadine, but that just kind of takes the edge off sometimes, not all the time. But apart from that, nothing has really ever helped me. There's lots of different like medications and things like that that you can take, but for me, it didn't do anything except make me extremely drowsy and stuff like that. And you're not supposed to drive when you're on them, so it's just not really worth it for me. I'd rather not take drugs if I don't have to, and if they're not making a difference, there's not really much of a point but yeah it's very frustrating um in february i do have fifa your hair is all over me i do have an appointment with another specialist so hopefully that will all go to plan um then my next question is from cassidy i really like that name i think that's how you pronounce it c-a-s-i-d-h-e cassidy i love when like names are spelt you know differently like my name emily is just like the generic way to spell it like i always wish it was spelt e-m-i-l IE or double E or something like that. Anyway, what is your YouTube 2017 goals? I would like to just grow our family and that's pretty much it. I don't really have any specific goals. I'm excited to, you know, start this new little schedule. I think that'll be fun. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really have any major goals. Like maybe, well, they say put it out to the universe. Maybe let's, let's think of how many subscribers we should reach this year. Let's say, let's try and reach 80,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Because we got over 30,000 since my last birthday so that was 11 months ago so I think we can get another 40 less than just under 40 I reckon that's a good goal will you be going back to finish hairdressing soon or is that still on hold that is still on hold currently if you were to live in any other Australian city where and why I'd love to go to Sydney um I just really like it there and yeah Melbourne's just like a bit too much but I do like Sydney I don't know why I just do and then Krista asked what are your long-term goals and dreams long-term goals and dreams I'd love to have my own business maybe like hair extensions or clothing that would be something that I'd love and just have a very rich fulfilling life not necessarily money wise which you know I'd like a little bit of money but you know, just like so much love and lots of family and friends and just doing like things that make me feel good. Like being able to travel, which obviously you need money for. Um, just, yeah, I don't know. So she asked a couple of questions. So favourite lip liners and why? MAC lip liners are really good. Also, Colourpop is probably my favourite. 
so affordable and they work absolutely amazing. Favourite primers and why I'm not a big primer person. Tips on eating healthy meals and transitioning to a vegan lifestyle. I'm not a vegan but as I said I want to do a whole video on it. And I also want to show you guys like vegan junk foods. Did you just sneeze? Because a lot of vegans on YouTube I feel like I'm like raw till four eat all the raw vegetables and stuff like that which I feel like for me personally isn't a practical kind of thing but I just want to share you know some things with you guys that you might not know were vegan that actually are so I think that would be fun I'd probably do it in the same video can Mary you and myself meet and become besties and film together and have sleepovers and do face masks and play with makeup and I need to stretch my leg because that would be goals um I don't see why not but I do have a rule I don't film with people I don't know that's why I've never done a collab but yeah, for sure, let's hang out. <sighs> I'm like getting hot now. Um, but yes, let's totally hang out. We're all friends here. Um, she also asked, also, will you ever create a Twitter account? No, because I do not understand how to use Twitter. It's so confusing, but I feel like everyone's obsessed with it. I just, I don't understand it. And then Michelle asked, top three favorite places to buy clothes from? Fashion Nova, even though I'm lucky enough to not really have to buy much from them because they send me stuff. Um, Boohoo and probably Beginning Boutique. I don't really buy a lot of clothes, to be honest. Um, I typically get sent a lot of stuff which is so crazy but yeah they're probably my top three favorite places to buy stuff from and they're all online I'm a big online shopper if I do buy stuff and then Amber asked how did you and Hayden meet so we actually met on tinder which I did um, explain in my last Q&A which will be down below and how long have you been together minus a few breakups at the start of our relationship it'll be three years in March so Quite a while. Also, where about in Australia do you live? I live a few hours away from Melbourne. I'm from Western Sydney. I really like Sydney. Wish we could hang. I only ever chill with my boyfriend. Honey, I know the feels. Actually, I do have like a handful of girlfriends, but it's like literally my boyfriend's in the other room right now. Also, do you love like my 70s like headband? I'm obsessed. Kate asked, what is your all-time favorite makeup brand? I'd have to say NARS and L'Oreal for like a drugstore on high end and places you'd love to travel. Definitely like Europe. Um, I just really want to go there. It looks so pretty. Like all the places, I want to go to all of them. And she said, can we be friends? Obviously. And you look so pretty in your profile picture. All the best for 2017. Can't wait to see more videos. Thank you so much. Chelsea asked, what's the weirdest name you've ever named one of your pets? Um, I named a budgie back in the day. I named him Wombat. So that's pretty fucking weird. If you could be anyone in the world, who would you be? I've never really thought about that. Maybe like Kylie Jenner because Kim Kardashian. Like I don't, I really haven't thought about that. Last but not least, do you want children? If so, how many? I do want kids, but if it didn't happen for me, I don't think it would be a big deal. Well, at least at this point in my life, I don't feel like it's necessarily going to be the be all end all. Like if you know it was something that I couldn't like couldn't happen then you know that's just the way it is but if I do have kids I have to have a lot of them do you know what I mean it's like all or nothing for me so I want to have like six kids so I'm gonna have a big fucking family if I do have one okay so my battery is about to die that is all the questions that you guys asked I'm glad that there wasn't as many this time so I didn't have to pick but I will be doing another Q&A in the future my battery is about to die. Did I say that or was I thinking it? I don't even know. Hopefully you guys like the new kind of lighting with my new ring light. It's actually like night time so the lighting's probably not that good even though I do have light. I'm sweating so bad. It's so hot in here. But anyway, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys had the best holidays or Christmas time. I definitely had a lot of fun. Um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy my Christmas haul video that will be up on Thursday. And Fifi is here. Show everyone your tail. Say bye. Gonna say bye to everyone? We're gonna say goodbye. Say thank you for being here and we'll see you on Thursday. Actually, we'll see you guys on what day is it? I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Fifi, you got your nips out. Fifi's nipples always pop out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Is it tomorrow?